If you've ever been beat so bad that makes you want to throw your keyboard across the room, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another top five tips. These are going to go over some PvP tips to make you get better, to play better, fight better, and extract more. But it's not just going to be like, do this, do this, do this. We're going to go through stuff and, and talk about why you should be doing it and how you could probably win a fight next time or think about what you did wrong so you can do it better the next time. Be sitting in a bush just watching cottages right now and us running okay so the first topic is going to be about patience and choosing your targets that's more critical in pvp than anything else in this game you take a shot and they know where you are you might have just lost everything so being patient, pacing yourself, and really knowing if you're going to take that shot or not, especially when people are unsuspecting, changes everything in Tarkov. So as I'm coming up here to actually help my friends because they needed help and they got trapped, one already died and there's one left. Wait, I see him. Hold on. I start evaluating the two targets. Shoot. I see both. This one looks way more geared than the other, so I just take the first shot. I fired one. Second guy tries to run away. I get a couple shots on him and I start to push up. The one outside, I got him. One of the big things you should know about this, though, is that you hear my other friend make a good call out saying, once you p shoot, I'll take a target. Problem was, he just kept laying fire, even though the guy was running away. I think picking and choosing your target is huge. Push up, John. I'm going to give you some suppression. I'm at the left. He, he don't even know. You're fine. He don't even know we're here. Okay. But remember, I killed his now. boy, so all he's got to do is flip on the stream. Are you looting my kill? Tybo? I mean, I just started grabbing. Yeah. No, yeah. dude. Let me loot no. first, you no, shithead. Here, here. So my next tip. This has to do with being overconfident and trying to take fights that you probably shouldn't, especially when you're in a squad. Squads sometimes give you this false sense of protection because you think people are going to be protecting you. Protecting you. Protecting you. Oh, wait. Run, run, run. I just threw a grenade. Run, run. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Steven, where are you exactly? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna throw any other grenades then. No, he just killed me. No, I did not. That's not always the case. And sometimes as a player who's solo almost all his raids, I take advantage of that because some of the players don't really realize that and they stay back and separate because they're scared of killing each other. So let's take a look at this fight. I'll break it down. I even in game talk about it as I'm streaming it. So there was a team that I saw inside the med camp. I shoot them. They run away. I can't find them. So I'm sitting there waiting. I rotate a little bit over the hill and then I just wait. And then all of a sudden, one comes running across the open field. And that's when I knew that he was part of that group. No one ever is that confident to run wide open in an open field on woods if they don't think they have people protecting them. I take the first guy out and I immediately start looking for the next one. We know. Everyone knows there's always another. So I use the trees for cover, go back into the tree line more. After I shoot, rotate a little bit so I'm not in the same line of sight. Of course, the sun shines exactly on the guy who left his friend to die. Got him. There's two. It's beautiful. It's like art. Sometimes I think we get too confident when we're in groups. Sometimes I think we play too passive when we're in groups. Because you have one guy who's a Chad and you have three other people who stay back and they don't know how to react and by then it's too late or someone threw a grenade at each other. Don't get over cocky. Don't do things you wouldn't do. Get you deaded. You're playing PvP with multiple people. Sometimes you get more confidence in thinking either I'm safe to run out because there's less players or my friends have my back. Okay, for this next one, I think it's very important to talk about how to take on fights, especially as a solo player. If you get shot out on the open, let's say at the beginning of a, a raid, you need to be able to rotate. You need to know that you've got to get out of the way and you've got a clear line of sight of this person. You cannot let them see you again. Break sight by trees, bushes, or whatever, and then just rotate. Continue to move, but keep your eye on where you think that person is. Is that so f up? <laughs> oh, So once I finally Dude. spot him, even though my chat was trying to ruin this for me, I start following him. I don't take the shot. 
I try to get a clear shot on this He's guy, and I keep rotating and rotating till I can get him. Finally, I get up close enough to him to I know I'm going to guarantee the kill. Then I take it. The main part and the main takeaway of this isn't just to be like, okay, make sure you rotate, rotate your fights. It, it's rotating your fights and still staying clear of his sight line. He's got to be rotating. There he is. Yeah, he's trying to get shooter born in heaven done. Yep, there he is. Yeah, I maybe. But he the way he rotated back away, he knew he wasn't gonna find me, but instead of continuing the fight, he backed out. That's something that a lot of players don't do well. Like, if you're going to rotate away from me, you need to not stay out in the open. He literally stayed out in the open, and it was so easy for me to track and find him. <laughs> yeah, boy. So number four, something that a lot of people don't think about doing is playing to your strengths. Me and my friend Taco, we're over here in Shoreline. We're on the West Wing, and we're actually hearing multiple players. We can't quite tell where they are because, of course, it's Shoreline. But we get to a point where we figure out where they are, and we start hearing them split. Oh, look, Bleach. If I get thirsty, right to our right, there's that? someone walking. Yep. He dropped down to the ground. Two. Wait. Was that a? Oh, he's yeah. painkiller. The MCs. Do you got a grenade? Nope. Damn it, I missed the clip of the wall. Smoking's that lab guy, isn't it? He's in. Sounds like he's right here. I pissed him off. So now that I've seen exactly where they are, and I can tell because they're moving towards us, I make a decision and push the one that's coming up behind us because you can hear them split and try to pinch us. So I take on the first one. And I run past so I get out of his line of sight so he can't continue shooting me while I reload my mag. I immediately run up and my gun is already aimed up in the air to shoot that person. Now that I've killed him, you can actually see the next person push and I back up to the corner of the room because I hear the last guy charging. As soon as he comes, I know I can use my flashlight to blind him so he won't be sure where I'm at. As you can see, Let's quickly go! pop him in the face, he's done. You have to think how you attack this. So my first action was actually to pass the player, try to shoot him first, take him out because he was coming by himself. You heard him by himself. So my first thought is, let me go after that player who's by himself. Then I'm over to the side. I'm blocked off. So other players have to come to me again. So I take the advantage away from them. Instead of me sitting there waiting to die, I make them come as I'm aggressively moving around the map. So they have to hit their shots on the move just like I am. But I'm bringing them to me because my hip fire is really good. So I'm playing to my strength. And that's the biggest part of this. You have to play to your strengths. The biggest part of number four for all of these is playing to your strengths. I'm make the players come to me i make the other player try to fight granted i had a teammate for the first guy that's it and then after that i played to my strengths and i fought each one individually because they allowed me to
for the final one, we're going to talk about taunting. In PvP, taunting is actually kind of fun. It's something I enjoy doing. I figured let's be a little bit light after the first couple. They were a little bit more serious. So, so let's have a little bit of fun. I use taunting to find out where players are. Sometimes it'll get players to move because they're trying to hear you better, see where you are. Sometimes it'll get them to taunt back. So then you definitely know where they are. Shoreline is infamous for being so bad this wipe with sounds. You can't tell what floor people are on. So I was hoping to get him to continue to taunt me and taunt back so I could find out where he was. It was a huge advantage for me because I was already going to push him. So let's take a look and see what happens. So as you can see, I'm getting close and getting ready to fight him. Are you shooting that? Yes. Okay. What's going on over there? I thought you were just running up. Now, right now is when I'm preparing. I'm going to ditch the stuff I don't need just in case all everything goes wrong. But I'm pretty sure he's at the corner. Because I keep flicking, pre-firing, just to see if he moves more. But all he does is keep taunting. So I know he's got to be close. So I'll ditch my gear, just in case that I don't need, and go ahead and start to push him. Now here's the best part. wonder what's around here. I got a bad feeling about this. Obviously you saw I got the win. Got the dub. Good, but thanks. if you're going to taunt okay, like this, make easy. sure you kill the person. Because you don't want to lose. You don't want to die. You got to get the dub. Why you kill me, my man? Well, because you killed my boy, Zonky. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this isn't like the aim your gun higher. Do this. Do that. But at the end of the day, I'd rather make you think of other things than just like. Okay, well, if you run past this door faster than that guy, you have a better chance of not dying and seeing where he is. Easy. This is stuff that I think will make you think about how you approach fights and how you shouldn't approach fights. That's the goal here. Don't forget to check me out. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, some Thursdays, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern. Stop by, say hey. I keep like losing it. I'll have to like.